hello YouTube Dr. Kemp here in this video I'm going to talk about the Hammond organ preset keys so why don't we just uh, get right to it I'm sitting here on my Hammond A100 organ and um, it's one that uh, just finished uh, partially rebuilding the preamplifier on and so this organ sounds uh, really good it's ready uh, to be sold it's ready to go into a church and so I'm using it uh, to demonstrate uh, various aspects of the Hammond organ this week so let's take a look at the Hammond organ preset keys Now, for the most part, the only keys that most church organists use, Hammond uh, organists in the gospel churches tend to use, is this key here, this C, because this is a cancel key. It, in other words, it's used when a couple of these other keys are pushed down, you can push it, and it cancels everything. And and then this one, or this one, this B flat preset key controls this set of drawbars. And this uh, preset key controls this set of drawbars okay second set of drawbars and and the same is true of this of the bottom you have the cancel the cancel key here the C and then uh, this B flat that controls this set of drawbars and the B preset key controls this far set of drawbars. So that's one thing it's important for you to know about the preset keys. But suppose you're an organist and you would like to begin using your preset keys to a greater degree. Um, well, in order to do that, you need to understand the philosophy behind the preset keys. There are two major things that you need to know uh, about that philosophy of the preset keys. Number one, the preset keys represent different instruments in an orchestra. So the whole idea of the Hammond organ was to be able to have an organ in a church that sounded like a pipe organ and could therefore reproduce the sound of an orchestra but without pipes. Well, how would you do that? Well, you would put the different instruments that you would have in an orchestra inside of your organ. And so that's what the organ, Hammond organ people, attempted to do. Now, there is a there are books that deal with this, like this book here. And if you look in this book on page 11, Locking Top Consoles, this is the owner play, owner's playing guide. Play, playing guide, it says preset standard voice. So if we go by the preset standard voice, the way this organ and most organs are set up, it tells you the different instruments. It's called tone quality that the preset keys represent. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through what the book says here. Uh, 
so that it gives you a tone quality and instruments so is basically what it is okay uh, like here at the C the C sharp Let's this one this represents what is called in the book the stopped flute so if you play the individual note sound of the stop flute then there's a there, there the next tone quality is uh, that would be here at the F uh, the D that would be that would be the D I said F but that would be the D and that's called the dulciana the dulciana and so here's the tone quality of the dulciana so that's the dulciana the next one would be the tone quality of the french horn so individually the note should the notes should sound like a French horn. Now, if you notice, one aspect of this is that as I move up the scale on the on the preset keys, the volume increases. And it's arranged in that way, um, that the lower preset keys have a lower volume, and as you move up, the volume gets louder. So let's continue on. Now we're on, we're here, on E. The E preset key is, the tone quality is called uh, the, the, uh, Salisiono, or the the Salisiono, Salisiono, Salisiono. Okay, here is the F. The F is flute. And they're at their two degrees of flute, eight and four. Okay. Then F sharp, you have the you have the you have the oboe. Horn, okay. All right, here at G, you have the swell diapans diapason, the swell diapason. And here is your your G your G sharp at the G sharp. This is a a, a well known sound. See if you can tell what it is. Here we go. Now that 
that's supposed to be a trumpet. Okay, so that's the trumpet. Then A is called full swell. So you got more than one tone there. Now, that's one thing you need to know, and we could do the same thing for the bottom, for the bottom row. Um, and I'll just, I'll just read them to you what what the different instruments are, rather than going through all of them. Because that would take another video to do that, but you have the, for the C-sharp you have uh, the cello, for D you have flute and, and string, for D-sharp there is a clarinet, uh, for E you have the uh, diap uh, diapason and the gabba, gamba and the flute uh, tones, um, for F you have great no reeds is what it says let's hear what that sounds like I want to hear that clarinet let's hear that clarinet at D Let's hear that. Let's hear the cello. See, I want to hear stuff. And then, okay, moving on. Then I stopped at F. Then at F sharp, it's uh, it says uh, open dia diapason. A G is full great, and a G sharp is the Tiber Clausa, that's the G sharp. It says Tiber Clausa. And then A is full grade with 16. That's all right. Now, that's one aspect of understanding draw bars is that they represent tone qualities and instruments. The other thing you need to understand about the preset keys is that each of the presets represent a setup of the draw bars. Yes. Uh, let's 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 do the first one here. Let's do, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right, so the C sharp, here's what it sounds like. So if I was to play it. that tonal quality are right here having the two brown pushed in the first white is pulled out to five second white is pulled out to two uh, this black um, is pulled out to three and then everything else is is pushed in to zero, okay? And let's see what it sounds like. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. Now so I'm gonna have to I have to hit 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 this to, to activate it. I'm 
that's what I do. I'm going to hit the preset. Now, this is going to get you a little, a little more. See, it's going to be the same. See, you see, look. Let's, we can do another one. Let's take uh, let's take let's take the D, and let me let me set this one up. It would be here. It would be four, four, three, and two. Okay. Now let's hear that. So you see, each of the presets are, are, are designed to match, or there is a direct match for each preset, for each preset key, for the draw bar, there's a direct draw bar setting, let me put it that way, there's a direct draw bar setting to match each preset key. I, I said it right that time. There is a direct draw bar setting that matches each preset key. I know there are some people that are against using the presets for whatever reason. They say, oh, lazy musician, don't use the preset. Right now, look, I'm using 
that D preset right here. Here it is. What's wrong with that? designed to allow you to be creative and the musician who masters the presets along with mastering draw bars I'm telling you you can make some wonderful beautiful uh, miraculous sounding music with your Hammond organ I want to encourage you that if you've not been practicing with your presets that you begin to include in your practice time your presets along with your drawbar registration um, because they're available for you and it's a part of the mastery experience on the Hammond professional organ. This is Dr. Kemp saying to you, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Goodbye.